Rotarians know that eradicating polio is a long and difficult journey. They have to target high-risk areas, maintain the integrity of a live polio vaccine, and mobilize the community. Maybe you've seen the drops squeezed into a child's mouth or the activity at a National Immunization Day, or NID. We want to show you what it takes to get here, a drop in every child's mouth. It's April 21st, 2008, six days before the Subnational Immunization Day, or SNID. SNIDs are designed to target rural areas and resistant communities. One of these areas is the 1,200 miles of soft border between India and Nepal. To show how the vaccine gets there, we followed it through northern India, from New Delhi to Lucknow and northeast into Nepal. Since the polio vaccine is live, it must be kept cold from factory to immunization. This is called the cold chain. New Delhi Rotarians went to a factory that manufactures the polio vaccine. The manager of quality assurance explains the heat sensitive technology embedded on each vial. On high temperature, whenever you put this vial beyond minus 20 or at ambient temperature, this has a property to change its color. The journey from factory to immunization can last hours, even days through intense heat and traffic. Many of the roads through rural villages are narrow and can only be reached by motorcycle or bicycle. Even the grassroots level worker knows how important it is to maintain the cold chain and how to tell if the vaccine goes bad. Rotary is everywhere. To get the word out, banners are hung over main roads and draped over roadside kiosks. Many of these banners are funded by members of Rotary through its Polio Plus program. In Nepal, Rotarians hire rickshaw drivers with microphones and walk the streets to inform families about the upcoming immunization day. Rotarians live in the communities they serve, so they're in a perfect position to foster relationships with partners. A Rotarian somewhere will have the right connections to be able to reach the right person with the right message, the positive message, and to promote polio eradication. Rotarians also foster relationships with resistant communities, for example, cases of polio were rising in Muslim neighborhoods, so local Rotarians worked with Muslim religious leaders. Rotarians helped dispel their suspicion that the polio vaccine caused infertility. Polio cases among Muslim families have decreased 40 percent since 2007. We can have posters, banners, we can have all sorts of material, but all of this is nothing as compared to the fact that we need Rotary to touch the heart of people, to touch the heart of the families. The risk of poliovirus transmission from India into Nepal has increased partly because there is no border regulation. Merchants and families travel freely across the border every day. On April 27th, India and Nepal held simultaneous SNIDs, there were immunization booths less than a half a mile apart for 1,200 miles. In a border city called Burgunj, Nepalese Rotarians set up storefront immunization booths in the city and on the outskirts of town used a table and chair on a villager's front porch. This is what it takes to get a drop in every child's mouth.